you're up and out of bed the same day if your surgery is in the morning and if it's in the afternoon certainly you're up and walking the next day. One of the first things the staff at Sauk Prairie Joint Replacement Center wants you to do after surgery is move. Move down the hall, move into physical therapy, move out of the hospital and back home. Move from one art project to another without joint pain. We have expectations for the patients that are a little higher than some other programs. Uh, we believe they can do more than what maybe they've been challenged to do before. You know, they can walk further, they can get home quicker. They don't necessarily need to go to a rehab facility leaving here. They should be able to go home and resume their, their life at home. When Sauk Prairie Joint Replacement Program decided to rethink how they functioned a few years ago, they put a greater emphasis on what happens after surgery physical therapy. While you're in the hospital, you attend physical therapy twice a day. And unlike other programs, you do your physical therapy in a group. My first response to this was, this is never going to work. I mean, when I don't want to be with a bunch of strangers the day I've had surgery and I don't feel well and I you know, haven't had a shower. and This is going to be really unpopular. If someone told me, uh, when you recover from your surgery, you're gonna work with a group of patients, I probably would be a little hesitant at first to do that. And a lot of my patients are at first, but when they're done, they actually build very strong relationships, not only with the staff, but with the other patients that are here. And I really believe that makes a big difference. I have seen a huge change in the recovery. I, I just feel like people are more confident in themselves when they recover. They, they, by learning more about what is going to happen, that almost empowers the patient more, and it definitely has made a difference in the recovery. We've been doing this different rehab program now for two years, and I would never go back. It's been a huge improvement. And there's nothing more motivated to the 55-year-old guy to have than to have the 80-year-old woman next to him pick up her leg and bend it to 100 degrees and say, this really isn't so hard. Therapy continues when you leave the hospital, but again, you're not alone. Sauk Prairie Memorial Joint Replacement Center asks you to pick a coach, someone to help guide you before and after surgery. The coach has been tremendously helpful. And one of the things is that if you've had some pain medicine on board and you've had a general anesthetic the day before and your leg hurts, you just kind of tune out what people are telling you. And it's tremendously helpful to have somebody else listening to it so that when the activity ends and they, you sit down to, to rest a little bit, it can be discussed and they can go through it again and tell people what they need. Well, I think one of the deficits, you know, before we had this program in place is that um, when the patient went home, they didn't have anyone to really kind of coax them on or urge them on to keep doing their exercises. And I mean, it is a painful thing to have. And so it's easy to kind of slip back and, um, you know, say, well, no, I'm only going to do five exercises and not ten today. And, uh, you know, with that coaching encouragement and kind of monitoring, that, that helps them a lot come along in their healing a lot faster. So. Beautiful. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. How does the staff know this increased emphasis on physical therapy works? We have accountability in that uh, we track all of the patients who come through the joint program there are several parameters that, that we track, including distance walked, uh, amount of flexion in their knee, um, pain, all, all of those different measures. We track that, and when we compare that to other institutions that also track that, we compare very favorably and, in fact, in most cases exceed um, the comparisons that, that, um, that we look at. And they say goodbye sooner than before although the Joint Replacement Center holds regular reunions for the people they've served. Life is not a uh, passive thing. It's, it's not, uh, you, you have to be an active participant in, in order to get back to doing all the things you want to do.